Good morning, I'm Garrett Ahadl. Here's a look at your top stories this morning. A judge set a $2.2 million bond on Friday for the man charged in a deadly shooting at a Texas office park. You can see him pictured there on your screen. 27 year old Larry Bolin accused of fatally shooting one person and injuring five others at Kentmore Cabinets in Bryan, Texas on Thursday. Bolin is an employee of the business. Police say he also shot a state trooper as he was being pursued. The trooper is in critical but stable condition. Bryan police identified Timothy Smith as the person killed. As of Friday, two victims remain in critical condition and another in stable condition. Two others have been discharged. Bolin made his initial appearance on Friday when the judge said there was probable cause for holding Bolin on a $1.2 million bond for the charge of murder and a $1 million bond for attempted capital murder. Meanwhile, Houston health officials are saying out of Houston that they expect to receive fewer doses of the COVID-19 vaccine due to problems with the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. The Texas Department of State and Health Services said Friday more than 1.9 million COVID-19 vaccine doses will be shipped to providers across the state. However, the state is expecting to get 350,000 fewer doses of the J&J &J vaccine for use this coming week. Nearly 31% of Texas has been given at least one vaccine dose with nearly 17% now being considered fully vaccinated. Now let's take a look at our forecast with Josh Johns. Josh. Well, good morning, Central Texas. Going to be a beautiful day out there today. We had the cold front work through overnight, so we are starting off a little cooler this morning in the 50s, but this afternoon climbing up into the mid 70s with plenty of sunshine on the way, and we'll keep those nice conditions going on as well. 10 day forecast shows you the nice weekend continues on into your Sunday 83 Sunday 82 in the Brazos Valley mid 80s coming up on Monday. Some isolated storms possible and then next week we're watching for a big cool down. Good knock us down to the 60s and 70s for lows and bring us some small chances of rain.